As the stirring, majestic capital of Austria, and the once hallowed seat of the Habsburg Empire, Vienna spoils travelers rotten with Baroque palaces, fabled coffeehouses and plenty of cultural pizzazz. It's also a great base for exploring some of the country's other jewels. These are the best day trips from Vienna. 1. Salzburg Storybook Salzburg could easily steal a week of your time, but even a swift day trip from Vienna will leave you mesmerized. The whopping 900-year-old clifftop fortress, Festung Hohen Salzburg, will eat up a whole morning, whilst a wander through the historic Altstadt will swallow up the rest. Not much has changed since Mozart was born and raised here 250 years ago, including St. Peter's Stiftskeller serving food. Allegedly Europe's oldest restaurant, it's said to have been around since the 13th century. Booking remains essential. Don't go home without binging on Baroque finery in the Domquartier's Cathedral and Abbey or sipping a potent stein of monk-made ale at Augustiner Brostable either. How to get to Salzburg? The Railjet Express goes direct from Wien Hauptbahnhof to Salzburg in under two hours. Regional trains take around two and a half hours. By car, the journey is around three hours. 2. The Wienerwald, the Vienna Woods, the best day trip for hiking for some superb hiking and a taste of the mountains near Vienna, scamper across to the Wienerwald, the Vienna Woods. This 45km swath of forested hills, fringing the capital from the northwest to the southeast, was immortalized in tales from the Vienna Woods, the concert waltz by Johann Strauss Jr. in 1868. There are 11 walks to choose from, all easy day trips from the city, but the best lead travelers into the forest. You'll need about 3 hours to complete the 7.2 km trail number 4, which threads up to the Jubilamswarte lookout tower. There are sweeping views of Vienna and the 2,076 meters hump of Schneeberg from the uppermost platform. A slightly longer alternative is trail number 1, an 11 km loop, which starts in Nussdorf and climbs Kallenberg, 484 meters, a vine-streaked hill commanding fine city views. How to get to the Wienerwald, the Vienna Woods, for trail number 1, Tram D takes 27 minutes from the ring to Nussdorf. For trail number 4, Tram Line 49 takes 34 minutes from the ring to Retikgas. 3. Bratislava The best day trip from Vienna A short zip across the border is Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. Overlooked by a mighty Renaissance castle, it's easy to lose a morning wandering around the delightful old town, which merrily mixes medieval and Gothic architecture. The city's nucleus is Lavne Nam, Main SQ, where architectural finery shimmers in almost every direction, particularly the Stara Radnica, Old Town Hall. Look out across the city for lashings of Soviet design, from scowling statues to its Space Age bridge. Ideal for a day trip from Vienna, particularly if you want to miss the uproarious stag parties who drink strong, cheap lager in the city's rowdy beer halls come dusk. Try not to miss the Art Nouveau Blue Church, a powder blue place of worship dedicated to Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. If you're in need of food, the city's cellar restaurants serve huge helpings of dumplings and fried cheese. How to get to Bratislava? International trains take one hour from Vienna to Bratislava. The journey takes around the same by car. 4. Seagrot This former limestone and gypsum mine, just over an hour from Vienna, closed in 1912 after a controlled explosion caused 20 million liters of water to flood with the underground tunnels. That accident then created the largest subterranean lake in Europe. Now, visitors can wander through the echoing curves of its underground chambers and enjoy a short boat ride out on its turquoise waters. What's more, as the Nazis used the mine's dry, upper sections to secretly build aircraft during World War II, the lake has plenty of military artifacts on display. Small group tours last 45 minutes. How to get to Seagrot? Take the Saban from Vienna to Meidling, change for bus 364 or 365, and alight at Seagrot. The journey will take 1 hour 15 minutes. By car, the journey is around 30 minutes. 5. Melk An easy and rewarding day trip from Vienna, most visitors call in on Melk for its blockbuster abbey fortress that's perched high above the Danube. The twin spires and high octagonal dome of the monastery church dominate the complex, but inside its Baroque gone barmy, a riot of chubby cherubs, barley sugar twirls and polished faux marble. 
High on the list for many travelers, day trippers stream in from Krems too, so the cobbled streets are busy year round. Stop in on Schloss Schalleberg to see its remarkable 400 terracotta sculptures, each completed between 1572 and 1573, and wander past the Altes Post House. Built in 1792, not only is Mercury, the messenger of the gods, depicted in the stucco reliefs, but so too is postmaster Joseph Weber Edler von Fernberg. How to get to Melk? The regional train from Wien Westbahnhof to Melk station takes around 1 hour and 15 minutes. By car, the journey is 1 hour and 10 minutes. 6. Graz The best day trip for art lovers Graz, Austria's second largest city, might be a smidge over 2 hours from Vienna by car, but it's an instant heart stealer, Renaissance courtyards, Baroque palaces, abundant parkland, sea of red rooftops and a beautiful bluff, connected to the center by steps, a funicular and a glass lift. But it's the absorbing architecture of Kunsthaus Graz, the provocative biomorphic art gallery dubbed the friendly alien that takes visitors aback. Its contemporary design, and exhibitions, are at total odds with the city, which makes it even more arresting. For something equally as striking, but not quite as modern, check out Schloss Eggenberg, the elegant 17th-century palace with magnificent courtyard arcades built by Italian master builder, Giovanni Pietro de Pomis. How to get to Graz? The train from Vienna to Graz takes around 2 hours 30 minutes. By car, the same journey is 2 hours 15 minutes. 7. Budapest It may take a little over two and a half hours to meander down to Budapest by car, but as the dual capital of the once great Austro-Hungarian Empire, a day trip from Vienna can make for compelling comparisons. Start in the Castle District, the nerve center of Budapest's history, which towers 170 meters above the Danube. Survey the scene from the Fisherman's Bastion, the neo-Gothic viewing platform built in 1905, with views across the vast Blue River. Look north, left, for the Hungarian Parliament building, which many believe was inspired by London's Palace of Westminster. Spend some time at the Royal Palace, which has been bombed and rebuilt at least half a dozen times since King Bela IV established it in the mid-13th century, before heading across the river for some lunch. Then slowly work your way along Andrassy Ut and up to Heroes Square. Finish with a soak in one of the 18 thermal pools at Sishani Baths before heading home. How to get to Budapest? Direct trains go from Vienna to Budapest in 2 hours and 37 minutes. By car, the same journey takes two and a half hours. 8. The Danube Valley The best day trip for families to see the Grand Danube in all its dramatic glory, head to the Wachau. This romantic stretch of the Danube Valley, between Krems and Durdano and Melk, waltzes through poetic landscapes of terraced vineyards, forested slopes and apricot orchards, with the meandering river, and the imposing fortresses that overlook it nearly always in sight. Less than an hour by car, it's a great spot for a cycle ride with children. Start in Krems and Durdano and take the B3 southwest towards Spitz, pedaling past the lovely town of Dernstein, with its blue-towered Chorherrenstift backed by Quenringerberg, the castle where Richard the Lionheart was imprisoned in 1192. A couple of kilometers on, just after Wozendorf, you find the Church of St. Michael, in a hamlet with 13 houses. Get the kids to count the terracotta hairs on the church roof. The pretty town of Spitz finally swings into view some 17 kilometers from Krems. Head to its Hurrigen, wine taverns, for a much-deserved glass of wine before heading back. How to get to the Danube Valley. The journey from Vienna to Krems and Durdano takes 1 hour 13 minutes by direct train and just under an hour by car. 9. Semmering the best day trip for skiing come December, when the powder sits plumply across the Austrian Alps, there are a number of easily accessible ski slopes from Vienna which can be visited in a day, including the resorts of Haurich and Unterberg. Semmering, however, is the pick of the bunch as its night slopes at Zauberberg and Stulich are open until 8.30 p.m. A long-term host of the FIS Alpine Ski World Cup races, there's 14 kilometers of slopes at Zauberberg and 26 kilometers at Stulich. How to get to Semmering? The train from Wien Hauptbahnhof to Semmering Bahnhof takes as little as 1 hour 16 minutes. The journey takes around 1 hour 50 minutes by car. 10. Hallstatt at 3 and a half hours by car, a day trip from Vienna to Hallstatt is doable, but very taxing. 
This fairy tale town, which is thought to have been one of the inspirations behind the Disney film Frozen, throngs with visitors who outnumber locals by more than 10 to 1. Hallstatt's beauty borders on the surreal and the sublime. Boats glide serenely across the lake from the train station to the village, situated precariously on a narrow stretch of land between mountain and shore. If you want to visit in a single day, either get the first train from Vienna at 4.55 a.m. and arrive before the coaches. Alternatively, stay overnight and wait for the day trippers to leave. Then you can enjoy a lakeside dinner in relative peace. How to get to Hallstatt? Trains from Vienna to Hallstatt usually require a change at Wells or at Nang Pukheim and take around 3 hours and 52 minutes. By car, the journey takes 3 and a half hours.